This release of vRealize CodeStream supports REST and pull plugins, triggers for Git and Garrett, the ability to import and export pipelines, a selection in the VAMI to enable the vRealize CodeStream license, or the vRealize CodeStream management pack for IT DevOps. vRealize CodeStream 2.3 is supported with vRealize Automation 7.3. You can achieve continuous integration and development in your release automation pipeline by using plugins. vRealize CodeStream 2.3 supports REST and POL plugins. The REST and POL plugins do not require an endpoint. Use the REST plugin to invoke a REST API to send and receive data between applications such as GitHub, Jira, and so on. The REST plugin works with any external system that exposes REST APIs. In your pipeline, you add a REST task, configure the task, choose the HTTP method for the REST call, specify a payload depending on the HTTP method, activate and run the pipeline, verify the task execution results. Use the poll plugin to listen for the status on an API so that you can detect when a task completes. Configure the interval so that the plugin continues to pull the API until the task meets the exit criteria. You can include an exit criteria for the poll task to stop the polling and mark the task as complete or failed. The exit criteria can be a success criteria that is mandatory and an optional failure criteria. The criteria can refer to the JSON response of the API call and bind to a property value in the JSON response. In your pipeline, you add a poll task and configure it to include any URL and variable, the poll interval, the timeout, and the JSON key path. Activate and run the pipeline. Verify the task execution results. Use the vRealize CodeStream trigger for Git to integrate with the Git lifecycle. When developers make changes to code in a GitHub or GitLab repository, the change triggers an event which passes through a webhook to the trigger for Git and triggers the pipeline. To integrate CodeStream with Git Lifecycle, on your local machine, install the trigger for Git, generate and run configuration file to listen for events from GitHub and GitLab Enterprise, copy the URL provided by the configuration file. In GitHub or GitLab Enterprise, create a webhook. In GitHub Enterprise, Create a webhook and enter the URL. Select push events and or release events. Create a post receive script. In GitLab Enterprise, create a webhook and enter the URL. Select push events. In CodeStream, configure the task. Configure the pipeline input properties, which can include GitHub push events, GitHub release events, and GitLab push events. Use the vRealize CodeStream trigger for Garrett to integrate with the Garrett lifecycle. When developers create a patch set for a code change or merge code changes, Garrett sends the change events to the trigger for Garrett. This event triggers the task in your pipeline. On your local machine, install the trigger for Garrett. Generate and run a configuration file to establish an SSH connection to the Garrett server. In vRealize CodeStream, configure your pipeline input properties to receive events from Garrett. Configure the task and include a condition string for the trigger event. For example, the condition string can cause the task to trigger only when a developer merges changes in Garrett. Garrett sends the change events over the SSH connection to trigger the pipeline. You can import a previously saved pipeline into your vRealize CodeStream instance, or you can export an existing pipeline so that you can share it with other users. To export a pipeline, click Pipelines. Select a pipeline and click Export. The pipeline is saved to a JSON file on your local machine with the same name as the pipeline. To import a pipeline, click Pipelines, Add, Import. Enter either the pipeline data in the text area, or click Choose File and select a JSON file. 
Refresh the list of pipelines and view the imported pipeline list. Activate and run the imported pipeline. You've learned about new features and where to access each feature in this version of CodeStream. For more information about vRealize CodeStream, visit pubs.vmware.com. Thank you.